Millet's aunt, and this is where they had their home. This home is plumbed with sterling silver plumbing, so you can have hot and cold running salt water. Um, this is, the woman who lived here was also the woman who paid for Kate Millet to go to Oxford. Um, she didn't like, she, Kate Millet had already been going to the University of Minnesota without paying tuition. She was in a sorority just because she was so smart, according to the people at her funeral. Uh, so the woman who, uh, she grew up in this neighborhood, but that was where her aunt lived, who had a free ride to Oxford and a free ride to, uh, the free ride to the University of Minnesota and then eventually Columbia. Um, to get her doctorate was the person who decided that people from East Saint, men from East Saint Paul, and men from around the country were also very privileged, and that was the that's the big problem facing uh, the West. So if you take a look at this is the Summit neighborhood of Saint Paul, what you'll see is uh, extraordinary amounts of wealth that come m mostly from shipping or being merchants. Uh, and to a lesser degree on this side of the river are the milling families. Uh, but this is just incredible amounts of generational, uh, generational wealth that comes not just from uh, income and investments, but also from uh, significant land holdings. Um, because in the Midwest, there's an awful lot of land. Uh, Hang on, I'm gonna take some pictures of the stuff. 